Hey guys, it's Hellzack from Hellzack Gaming and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can download and play PUBG Lite in any country. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first things first, in order to play PUBG Lite, you must have an ID. If you don't have an ID, you need to go to this site that is uh, light.pubg.com where you can see a button for apply for ID. Once clicking on it, you will be forwarded to this page and you have to register as usual and you will have your ID. Once you have it, you can move to the next step. So once the account creation is done, you need to download the game. So go to light.pubg.com, the links will be provided in the description and click this download button. I've already downloaded it so I'll be cancelling it. Once the download has completed, you'll be getting something like light PUBG Lite setup.exe. I have to install this thing. The installation process is same as any other, so I'll not be doing it here. So after installing the PUBG Lite, when you double click it, you will be seeing the screen where you have to enter your username and password. So after entering it, oops, sorry. Here you go. What the fuck? So after logging in, you'll be seeing something like this. Black screen will appear. So in order to fix this, you will be needing a software called Proxifier. So the link to that software will be given in the description. Along with the software, you will be given the site to this link. In here, it, uh, this link gives you a list of the proxy servers for Thailand along with the IP addresses and the protocols. You will be needing to put one of these IP addresses in the proxy file. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. For example, uh, let me just uh, select an IP. For example, like this one. Okay, it has good speed. It has also has a good response rate. So I'll be using this one. We have to copy this thing, but first let me just uh, open the proxy file up. As you can see, it will be the basic window of Proxifier. So where you're gonna go is click on this link, Proxy Servers, and gonna add. I've already added one of the Proxy Servers, which works best for me. I have so in order to add that, you have to gonna click Add, and from this basic servers list, you're gonna you know, select one server. For example, let me select this server. I'm gonna copy the IP address, copy it, paste it here. Along with the port, you have to also, uh, you know, copy the port and paste it here. Okay, so when you are done, you're gonna also select the protocol. The protocol is you can see it is Socks S4. So we're gonna click Socks S version 4 and also tick this option which is use Socks 4A extension. So click and just select OK. So I'm not gonna do it because I have already figured out my app proxy server. You can use this proxy server as well, which you see in the screen or any other from this list so once you have done that you have just have to run the pubg exe again and to be fine let me just show you how it will go Now as you can see that the black screen has disappeared and you will be provided with this screen now. So now in order to run the game there is another thing that you have to do otherwise you will be getting an error like uh, unavailable in your region. So in order to do that you have to go to your time and date settings. You can do that by right clicking here and go to adjust date and time. And here uh, this thing might be turned on in some cases. If not what you have to do is turn it off and go to time zone and select. You have to select uh, UTC plus 7 Bangkok, Hanoi or Jakarta, this one and just close it up and just fire up the game. As you can see that we have made into the game and it is running without any flaw. But, one thing is sure that you will be getting a higher ping in your matches because uh, the proxy fire is redirecting you to the Thailand servers by using the proxy link so obviously you will be getting higher lag 
and higher ping and latency issues but uh, you can still play it 